So we continue with a little bit more of James on the street and just a stone's throw away from Chiapo, about 45 minutes to an hour's drive. Yep, you can walk in in about five or six minutes, but it's that traffic around me. It's Binondo, or otherwise known as Chinatown. Here you can get some really great food and stuff that's really, really hard to find. So let's take a walk around and see what is so special about this place. I know it's a transport show, but uh, is that a real parking meter? I don't know if it works, but it's pretty cool. I know we're a transport show. We're really supposed to be talking about the roads and everything around. But you know what? You walk past this place, you smell it. It's famous. They make the best coffee here, I'm told. So you got to excuse me just for a break. Still obsessed with that parking meter. Hi. Best seller. That is good, really good. And you know what's really good about this? It's more than just a hopia. This thing has an incredible story. These hopias here help save lives. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but these hopias here funded these fire trucks in Binondo, or at least the fire truck of the owner of this place. And he set up this textfire.net, which is an amazing thing, which we'll have to feature on the show another time. But I just found out, actually I found out because I had to sort of tie it to motoring, and that was the best way I could do it. So here's that fire truck that Hopia built. It's not hard to find because, well, it looks like an Ube Hopia, at least in color. It's the purple fire engine or the purple, they have a name for it. The real short story here is basically the guy that makes these Hopias here, when he took over the family business, he was penniless. He didn't really, and it was a Hopia business, but there was just something wrong with the model. And then eventually he fixed it by introducing the Ube Hopia. That was what his claim to fame was. And then he turned those profits into doing some good for the environment and the community by this fire truck over here. I promise we'll get the guy in the show at some point and we'll tell you his full story. Right now, there's a little bit left just to visit. Well, the good news is they have a big pedestrian crossing over here. It's a pretty wide one, so I'll just wait my turn here and then I can cross the street safely, which is good news. So, here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Five seconds. Who can cross the street in five seconds? So that's it, James and the...